I've been a thorium advocate for a long time, uh, dating back to NASA days when uh, I knew Kirk Sorensen as a, a young engineer. Uh, we were in the same office. Uh, they were developing a, um, a new technology office to go after advanced uh, uh, propulsion systems for in space. Uh, my expertise was partly solar, uh, but I had some nuclear background, and so uh, I was hired on in that group uh, to work a nuclear pulse, which was a, a really advanced rocket. Um, that was to go to Mars in 30 days, so a pretty powerful rocket using small nuclear pulses. Uh, pretty exciting, very dynamic for, for NASA at the time. They were pushing the envelope. Um, at that time, that's where we, we uh, started studying thorium uh, and the molten salt reactor and the work that they had done because we were looking for power systems out there uh, in deep space from uh, Mars and, and the moon. Uh, and all the systems we had, um, we're just not going to make it uh, as far as uh, the power density you would need it. Very, very light, but a lot of power. Uh, 